In this video I'll show you the easy way to treat trigger points at home. Now these are usually a big part of most musculoskeletal pain syndromes such as back, neck and shoulder pain. Now with the techniques I'll show you there will be no painful pressure or getting into awkward positions with balls, no needles, no lasers and no forking out for ongoing appointments. It's something you can easily do yourself and it's as effective if not more so than any of the professional therapies. Now the way we'll do it is with a vibration massager. Now I'll link the technical stuff, but simply what you do is place the head of a vibration massager over the trigger point. Now the vibrations penetrate deep into muscles, basically dissolving the trigger points. Now it works extraordinarily well and there's no pressure to cause pain or potential injury and none of the risks that you associate with needles. Now, what I'll do in this video is go over the basic techniques you'll need to find trigger points and do a really good job now I'll also link in the description a heap of articles to show trigger points for different parts of your body. Now first, how do you find the trigger points? Now the basic technique is to use the pads of your fingers to do a general examination. And if you find an area that's a bit tender or tight, use the tips of one or two fingers to examine a bit deeper looking for tight bands of muscle with tender lumps to shoot pain. Now they're the trigger points. Now that said, it's nice to be able to find the trigger points and recheck and make sure they're better, but the reality is that you don't even need to. Now if you're using pressure or needles, you need to find the trigger point accurately. But with something like this, if there's a trigger point anywhere near under the head, it'll get taken care of. Now with that in mind, there's charts like these in the articles that I'll link that show where the trauma trigger points are. You can just go over those or you can do the whole muscle and you're guaranteed to get them all. Now, easy still, once you've used the massage a few times, you'll be able to feel when the vibrations hit a trigger point. Now, what you do then is systematically move the massager over the muscle. Now, if you feel the trigger point, stop the machine and let it take care of it. Now, let's look at how to use the machine. Now, as I said, you just hit the head of the machine over the trigger point and let the vibrations penetrate. Now, I'll show you the basics here and link to the full instructions and precautions. A stand disclaimer, this video is not specific advice, just general information to be discussed with your own healthcare professional. Now first, for hygiene and to avoid skin irritation, use the machine over cloth or clothing. And second, if you have the part you're massaging horizontal, you don't need to hold the weight of the machine and the weight of the machine applies the pressure. Third, have the muscle that you're massaging relaxed. The massage is supposed to relax the muscle, but it can't do that if you've got it tightened. Now that's one of the reasons why results from using foam rollers are so poor. When people use them, they're often tightening the muscle they're trying to massage. Now lastly, you just sit the machine on and let the vibration soak in for 30 to 60 seconds. Now there's no need to do any of the conventional stuff like pressing in and moving the machine around. Now in fact, that can be counterproductive. Now, obviously, if you move the machine around, you're not letting the vibration soak in properly. Now next, we'll look at what machine you need to use and the settings on the heads. Now to get the proper therapeutic vibration you'll need a genuine vibration massager, not a massage gun. Now they don't deliver anywhere near the amount of therapeutic vibrations and because they drive their head in the muscle they can easily do a lot of damage. Now people nearly die from internal bleeding after using them. Now I'll link how to choose the right machine but I don't want you hurting yourself so I'll quickly go over the difference. Now looking at this diagram, the machine on the left is a genuine vibration massager. Now you see it has a contact pad that sends in large amounts of vibration. Now the tool on the right is a T-bar which massage therapists use to apply deep painful pressure. Now massage guns are basically a T-bars with a jackhammer mechanism to help drive the head in. Now you can see that the massage gun delivers a lot less of the therapeutic vibrations which means they're not going to have the effect on the trigger points while driving the head in like a jackhammer can do a lot of damage, now, especially if you get things like nerves and blood vessels. Now, massage gun marketers are very misleading. Now they'll tell you that the vibrations have excellent benefits, but they won't tell you that they deliver a lot less of those than a proper machine. Now they'll tell you that driving the heads in increases penetration, but uh, it's the vibrations that do the work and they go in much deeper. All driving the head in does is potentially hurt you. Now next, Let's look at how you set the machine up. Now, therapeutic vibration ranges from 30 to 60 hertz, which is cycles per second. Now, I like to use about 50. 
and that's really comfortable and seems to get the best effects. Now a lot of machines get their speeds as per minute, say 50 Hz is 3000 RPM. Now if you use one of our general purpose massages, their top speed is about 60 Hz. So what I do is back it off about 10%. Now, if your machine has different heads, just remember it's the vibrations that do the work and driving the head and the muscle can potentially hurt you. Now, with my machine, I use the flat head most of the time because it's the most comfortable and sends in the most vibrations. Now, we've got a smaller head that uh, I don't use it for extra penetration, rather to access parts that the flat head can't get to, like, say, the inside of the arch of my foot. Now, to get good lasting results, if you've ever had trigger point therapy before, you'll know you can have courses of needles, lasers, or massage type trigger point therapy and feel good for a while, but the pain eventually comes back. Now that's because trigger points have usually been there for a fair while and can be very stubborn. The treatment stops them hurting, but doesn't get rid of them. Now what you need to do is keep working on them after they've stopped hurting. Now do that until you can't feel them anymore when you do the examination or the machine runs over them. Then maybe once a month just to keep them at bay. Now it's very easy if you've got your own machine so you're not making appointments and paying out all the time. Now the last bit of general advice I'll give you is that trigger points are often part of a more complex musculoskeletal problem. Now you can do this therapy yourself but if there are any doubts or the problem keeps reoccurring don't hesitate to get some advice from a professional who deals with these sort of problems such as a chiro, osteo or physio. Now they're all the massage techniques you need to know. Now, once you've done them a few times, you'll work out a system be able to do them very thoroughly in a matter of minutes. Now, lastly, as I said, you need a genuine vibration massager. Now, a lot of vibrating massages are not serious therapeutic devices, and as I said, massage guns don't deliver the proper therapeutic vibrations. Now, that said, genuine vibration massages are not that common, and most are designed for professionals like myself to use on patients rather than for self-use. Now I'll picture a couple of examples here. Now because of that we build our own personal use vibration massages. Now this is our general purpose massager. Now the business end delivers copious amounts of therapeutic vibrations. Now it's got a proper ergonomically designed handle so you can easily use it anywhere on your body and has very easy to use controls. Well the on and off switch is underneath and has a sliding variable speed under your thumb. Over the years we've sold over 100,000 of these without any advertising, mainly through professionals like chiropractors, osteopaths and physiotherapists using them and recommending to their patients. Now, more recently we've developed our quad head machine. Now, it has all the good things that the general purpose massager has, but can do a much greater area at once, and because the front part is larger and flatter, you can easily use it like a chair or cushion massager. Now, for more information on using vibration massages or our machines, please see our website or the description. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate. Hey, thanks very much for watching. It has been most appreciated.